Hey Dan, thanks again for letting me come with you. I really appreciate you, you know, taking me into your, your wing and training me. So where are we going now? Oh, it's nice of Mrs. Morgan in the office to say visit some classrooms in the school, see if any of the teachers will sell us some excess inventory. So I'm just going to walk down this hallway, see who's available in the classrooms and what we can do. Great. Do you always go into the classrooms? Absolutely. Best place to find books is in the classrooms. Hello? Yes. Yes. Hey, how are you doing? Good, good. How are you? Can I help you? I'm Dan with Follett. Nice to meet you, Dan. Nice to meet you, too. Mrs. Morgan uh, was trying to fundraise for the school. Told me that uh, I could talk with the teachers. You guys might have some textbooks, workbooks uh, to get rid of. At the moment, right now, we haven't any textbooks to get no, you might want to stop back maybe in the summer, end of the school year or something, we could do something maybe. Sure, definitely understand that. Uh, when would be a good time over the summer to visit? Well, whatever's convenient for you. You know, actually, it only takes a second. Do you have a brief second to show me some books? Well, I don't have any right now at this moment. Sure, sure. I definitely understand. Uh, is there anything that you actually need? Well, pretty much... Um, School supplies? Uh, we're a textbook company, but we do offer, we just started offering school supplies. Like, uh, what, what do you carry? What line of stuff? Uh, we carry uh, from erasers to pens to pencils to uh, rulers for the students, microscope material for science uh, books. How about paper? Paper? Copy paper? Uh, copy paper paper. we actually do sell. So. Yeah, we, we use quite a bit of that. Okay. Copy paper, drying paper. Okay. Well, I could put somebody in touch with you tomorrow to uh, follow up on what you guys might need for uh, supplies in the paper department as well. Yeah, you could do that. I would be interested in that. We use quite a bit, and I happen to be the one in charge to buy that stuff. So, all right, you're the purchaser for that. If you want to stop by, we'll talk business again. Uh, actually, uh, it'll be Kenya that will uh, call you. So Kenya. Yes. Yeah, so, if you have a direct phone number that you could get a hold of you during the day, or. Uh, an email too, perhaps, would be helpful, and we can get you all taken care of tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, that would work. That all would right. be good. Thank nice you. Nice doing business with oh, you. Oh, yeah. Stop I'll follow back up with you in the summer about those books. Very good. Very good. All right. Damn, that was pretty good. I liked how you did that. I noticed that he didn't have any books. But you didn't stop. You just kept asking them questions about different other needs that he had. And as soon as you started asking them questions, he actually brought up the fact that he did need school supplies. Yeah. So it was actually perfect. So even when they say no to showing you books for our job, which is to get inventory in the file, at least try to get something out of it, even on the sales end. Yeah, it really does seem like there's a lot of different ways that we can help our customers. That's great. Help our customers and help us move books out of the door, which keeps our buy guide plentiful. Great. All right, Dan, so I guess we're just going down another hallway. Are we just going to another classroom? Yeah, I'd never give up. Persistent behavior in the schools leads to uh, textbook inventory. Yeah. I have heard George say that you can't stop at the main office because if you let yourself stop there, then you're really not getting a chance to see, you know, the different classrooms, a lot of different op opportunities. Yeah, it looks like most of these places are vacant. Oh. See somebody in there. Sorry to interrupt you, but Mrs. Morgan gave me permission to visit. Hello, mister. I'm, hey, how's it going, buddy? I'm Dan from Follett. Mrs. Morgan said I could visit within the classrooms to try to raise funds for uh, your school. I'm looking for any textbooks, workbooks that you would not be using in the classroom. Okay. Um, at this time, we don't have any. Okay. Well, what might be a good time that you guys would have some within the classroom? Um, you know, I'm actually busy tutoring a student right now. Maybe you can come back another time. 
not sure when would be a good time. Um, I know that we get a lot more books more towards the end of the summer that you may might be interested in. Yeah, that seems like a theme around here. <laughs> okay, well, I appreciate it. I'm sorry to interrupt you no guys problem. again. No problem, thank you. Hey, by the way, are you, are you tutoring right now, you mentioned? Yes, I am. I'm helping a student. What are you guys working on, buddy? We're working on reading. Okay. Um, we actually sell uh, different supplemental materials for young readers. Would you be interested in maybe possibly ordering some stuff to help your student right there? Oh, that sounds great. Sounds very helpful. Okay. Uh, tomorrow I'll have our sales rep Kevin give you a call. If you could provide me with a direct phone number to get a hold of you during the day, that would be great. Okay. Um, actually, I have a card. You can contact me at that number anytime after 3. All right. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Have thank a good you. day, buddy. Thank you. Well, Dan, that was great. Looks like you just got another sales lead. And for our, our boxing match that I keep hearing so much about, this is really going to help us because this was another lead that you just got. Sure. Two leads equal two points for this boxing competition. Well, at this rate, we seem like a shoe in to win. Sure. But we can't stop here. It seems like from everything you said today, we got to keep looking until we get more books to buy, right? Sure. We've gotten a, a sales lead. Now we're going to try and find some books to buy. So we're really hitting on all cylinders. Sure. Definitely need to create active customers to keep momentum going for our team during this competition.